Namaste, welcome to Geetha's Kitchen. Today we will see how to make a very healthy Jowar Dosa. Jowar is another kind of millet, also known as Sorghum in English or Jornalu or Cholam, different names. Uh, people use it in making rotis. Today I will show you how to make a healthy dosa using Jowar flour. Many of you have asked me to recommend a good uh, dosa tava. So I, today I am going to show you this cast iron dosa tava. Earlier I was using a dosa tawa which was given by my mother, a very old one which I don't have any link to give you. So this is a cast iron dosa tawa and I can give you the link to this. Nice and heavy tawa which can be used very easily and your dosas will not stick to the pan. This has got a very super smooth finishing, this cast iron dosa pan. And we look at all the benefits as we go through the a video. This dosa tava is from the Indus Valley, Indus Valley cookware by now you all will be very familiar with it because they always specialize in healthy cookware. So no toxins, uh, no harmful chemicals in this. It is just pure cast iron which we are using and it is something which will last you for uh, generations. It's also healthy because when you make an iron pan, your uh, iron absorption is also increased, the iron nutrients in your food is also increased and uh, you will be really happy with the product. For this I have taken one measure of urad dal. Urad dal, washed it very well and we will soak it in water for 3 hours. Along with the urad dal I am also adding 1 fourth teaspoon of methi seeds. So this is a half cup measure, whichever measure you take, you just take one of that and soak the urad dal. It is 3 hours now, we are ready to grind the dal. Drain out the water. Add the dal to your grinder jar. Add a little water and grind it into a smooth paste. See we have ground the dal into a smooth and thick batter. See we soaked one measure of urad dal and ground it into a batter. Now for one measure of urad dal we need four measures of jowar flour. Jowar flour is readily available. I have bought it from the supermarket like this. Add this jowar flour to the batter. Now we will add a little more water and grind it again all together. See the urad dal batter and the jowar flour are well mixed now. Don't add too much water. Keep the batter a little thick. I am just pouring it out into this bowl. Now we will add some salt to this flour. Give it a good mix. I will cover this, keep it aside to ferment overnight. Tomorrow morning we can come back and make the dosas. Uh, before we start making the dosas, let us make the chutney and keep ready so that we can enjoy the hot dosas. And today I am making a chutney without using any coconut. Here I have a dry roasted half a cup of peanuts and kept ready. Allow it to cool. When it cools, you just remove the peel from it. Along with this uh, roasted peanuts, I am also adding this chutney dal or uh, roasted gram, putani dal, whatever you call it and one green chilli, salt to taste, a small piece of tamarind. We will add a little bit water and grind it into a paste. See our chutney is ground and ready. For the tempering, we will heat a teaspoon of oil. Add some mustard seeds, urad dal, and a little bit of hing. When the dal is very brown, add some curry leaves also to this and pour this tempering on top of the chutney. 
So yeah, our groundnut chutney is ready. Now we can start making the doses. Now let's have a look at our batter. Wow, it has fermented really well. Can you see that? Now just mix it like this. And whenever you make dosas, as I always tell you, take out the required quantity. We'll keep away the rest. Check the consistency of the batter. If you want, you can add a little bit water and bring it to this consistency. Now I kept the tawa for heating. It has heated very well. Just add half a teaspoon of oil and smear it all over the dosa tawa like this. Next, just sprinkle some water on this. Clean, wipe this clean. So that sizzling indicates that your tawa is ready to make the dosas. See when the tawa is well heated, just add a spoon of oil and rub it all over with a cut piece of onion like this. This is already a pre-seasoned tawa but this way you can ensure that your dosas come out very well every time. See beginners might feel that the dosa is sticking to the tawa, they are not able to take it out when they are using a new cast iron dosa. This is pre-seasoned, even then I have shown you to add a few drops of oil and uh, either you can rub it with an onion or just chop some onions and uh, fry it on the tawa for a few minutes, remove it and then use. Again one more tip which I remember my mother, grandmother and all used to do, the first dosa they would make a small and thick one. Again the tawa gets seasoned by that and then they would start making the big regular dosas. So don't get disheartened if your dosa sticks to the tawa. Uh, with any kind of dosa tawa, try it two or three times. Once the tawa is well seasoned, you will be able to remove the dosas very easily. Pour a little of batter and gently spread it into a circle like you do with any dosa. Pour half a teaspoon of oil all around the dosa. When you see the other side getting a reddish color, gently remove the dosa from the tawa like this. You can just add a few drops all around it once again. When it is well cooked on the other side also, see how it is easily coming out from the pan. Remove this. Let me make one more and show you. You can see the reddishness on the other underside and that time gently flip the dosa. You can even dip this uh, spatula in some water, keep a little bit water and dip it in. It will be easy to remove the dosas. These are all small tips which will help you in making perfect dosas. Beautiful golden dosas. Just a few drops when this side is also done just after a minute you can remove it like this perfect jowar dosa which is very very healthy and uh, nutritious too I don't have any doubts about the taste it tastes as good as the regular dosa which you make with the rice and dal. do definitely try it out and see See normally with the uh, cast iron dosa tawas, the handle also becomes very hot. So here I have also taken this silicone uh, grip for this which can fit into this long handle dosa. If you want you can use this so that you can also have a firm grip like this. Uh, but be careful, don't take this too near the fire. So keep your flame on low while you are doing. See our healthy and tasty jowar dosas are ready. 
we have this uh, groundnut chutney some vegetable sambar and also i have some mulaga um, padi to go with it you can add ghee or this is till oil anyone you can add especially for diabetics those who want to go on a weight loss diet jowar is a very very useful millet because it is full of fiber and any product which is full of fiber it keeps you full for a longer time thereby it uh, helps your weight loss secondly it has got a lower glycemic index than wheat and also it is uh, gluten free so definitely try out this uh, jowar dosa now for tips on the care and maintenance of this cast iron dosa tawa you will find videos and complete explanations on the website of uh, indus valley cookware i'll give you the links in the description box but you can first allow it to cool well then wash it well with any of your liquid detergent and rinse it thoroughly then dry it with a cloth and keep it now iron in course of time any kind kind of iron will rust so what we have to do just smear some oil and keep and the store your tawa so your recipes uh, will also be handed down to your family for generations and your cast iron dosa tawa will also stand you a very long time you can pass it on to your uh, children also Please make use of the sale offer of getting a 70% discount on their products and also an additional 15% discount by using the coupon code GITA G I T A I will give you the links to the products and to the website and the coupon code everything you will find it in the description box Thank you for watching the video we'll meet again with another interesting episode from GITA's kitchen please subscribe to GITA's kitchen thank you